Ukraine. Russian forces we know are targeting the Ukrainian capital of Kiev in a second day of a full scale invasion. Yeah, Bradley Blackburn outside the UN headquarters in New York with more. Russian forces appear to be converging on Kiev. Air raid sirens sounded in the Ukrainian capital this morning, followed by reports of explosions across the city. Residents were told to take shelter as world leaders braced for Kyiv to fall. This is the uh, opening salvo of a massive uh, invasion, and we see this continuing uh, and uh, threatening Kyiv and threatening other major cities in Ukraine. While it's difficult to verify casualty numbers, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky said 137 Ukrainians were killed during the first day of the invasion, and he insists civilians are being targeted. <laughs> Russian leader Vladimir Putin pressed ahead with the offensive despite widespread condemnation and growing economic sanctions. Here at the United Nations, they've now earmarked $20 million for humanitarian efforts in Ukraine, and diplomats are calling for an immediate end to the hostilities. I repeat my appeal from last night to President Putin. Stop the military operation. Bring the troops back to Russia. President Biden blamed Russia for launching what he called a war without cause. Putin is the aggressor. Putin chose this war. And now he and his country will bear the consequences. The White House says 80% of Russia's banking assets are now subject to sanctions. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York.